Good morning everybody and it's welcome back to us at Built Not Ball. And guess what? We're in the van. And what does that mean? Yep, we're going away again. <laughs> Anyway, <clears throat> less of me waffling, more of me driving, and we need to hit the road. Um, we've got quite a long old trek yet again, and we're all meeting up at Suffolk Water Park, and we're going to be driving in from there as a convoy, I think. Well, anyway, I'll see you when I get there. Right, so we're here at the meetup point, which is Suffolk Water Park. I've got that right. And just to show you around a few of the vans. So this one, we all remember this one, don't we? This is the one from the International Camper Van Show. Very proud of it, I see. This is the admin from Vanta. Nice crowd of vans there. There's some over there as well. So there's going to be a nice little convoy going into the show. Well, excuse me, it's a little bit windy here as well, but this, we're back on the van stand, and a couple of guys' tents just here, got one van here, and all the rest of them, all the way along here. So literally all the way along here.
So as you remember, when we were at the last breakfast meet, um, this was the admin from Selfield Panel Vans for Windows. Um, so let's go back for the sponsors again because this still amazes me. This van is built from products which he lists on the back of his van. Ignore the bacon bay. So yeah. Um, he's just put a light bar on the roof of this. Something new to add. Now that light bar has come from Wham LED. Nice little addition. I think he's going to move it forward and put it onto the sun visor and cut the spots either end. So that's going to look good when that's finished and we will be putting that on a video. But yeah, very, very, very nice looking van all round. But yeah, he puts all his sponsors on the back here. LED light bar come from Wow LED. So yeah, loads of vans around here today, lots of vehicles, and uh, the, the TVP market, traffic for Ferrari Premier Star market, is huge when it comes to customising vehicles. See, most people got solar. In fact, John has got solar in his van, but also he got something else. I've probably got more power in this than I've got my own camper. Now just take a look at this. He's got the 2000 watt power oak. I want one. Not only that, he's got the Jackery Explorer 1000. I'm not jealous at all much. So yeah. Two very, very good products that are on the market at the moment and they've been pushed by a lot of people. So, Power Oak, if you're watching this, ooh, and Jackery, eh? I've got to get me something like that. I will do it at some point and see what we can get out.
we we decided to be a bit lazy. As you see, we just videoed all the vehicles going around the arena. And we've jumped on the back of this truck to come back. Right, I'm back again everybody and we're here with Dan who has just won Best Modified Van. Um, and it's one that's lit up like a Christmas tree. And it is a piece of work, it really is, because back at the International Camper Van Show, this is where I first saw this van. And it seems like every time I see it, there's something else on it, but we're gonna, let me introduce you to Dan, to Dan himself. This is the man, Dan. How are you doing? Right, I've got to ask one question. Yep. Obviously, you bought this van as a basic van, yeah? Yeah. For your job? Yeah. Right, okay. What made you start to stick all the lights on it and modify it? What gave you, what, what got into your head to do that? My two girls. Your two girls? My two girls, yeah, definitely, 100%. Um, they bought me a little uh, disco ball like that. It's, it was off wish. It must have only been about 70p, something like that. But we plugged it in, and by the age of one, two, they were just fascinated by lights. Right, okay. So automatically, I was like, right, this is what we need to work with. So I started adding a light here and there, and then I ended up with about a thousand. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's continuous, like we're just gonna keep going and going and going and getting bigger. So it still that. hasn't stopped then? No, it's still not stopped, man. No. Right, so okay, here's another question. How much money just on lights do you think you spent on your van? No, that's a silly question. We can't <laughs> do that. We're not allowed to do that. Right. So <laughs> We're not going to get a figure out of him today. No, we're not doing But things. it's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. It's mate, a lot, yeah. right. It's, 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 t it's time and everything else. Obviously, doing doing the labour work and everything else myself, it's, it's saved me a lot of money. Yeah. Saved me a lot of money. See, built not bought campers. I know this It is a camper van, whichever way, but it's his work vehicle as well. So when he's not working, he'll come away in this and he sleeps in it. So it is a camper van, whichever way you look at it. But, you know, so it's got a dual purpose. So anybody out there wanting to build a camper van but still want to use it for work this guy's done it so you know there is no excuses he's done it so today as i as you just just seen on the video he's won best modified van and that's in throughout the whole show so it just goes to show and he's not just one one single trophy take a look in here he's won others as well and that's another question that i've actually got to ask you dan why did you start in the, why did you go to a show to get a trophy? What gave you that idea? I didn't go to a show initially to get a trophy. Okay. I, um, first show I went to was at Stratford upon Avon, actually, and that was that was the first proper big show I've gone to. That's where we met, yeah. Yeah, that's where we met, and you know, obviously we had Truckmate UK there as well and stuff, and they they come over, um, and they gave me the best best lights in the show like you know best commercial van and I was like right that's fucking it just gave me a buzz <laughs> and the amount of people I had around the van talking to me you know they some of them would spend half hour to an hour just going round and looking at the lights just like asking me what I've done and how I've done this and everything else and it just gave me such a buzz and I was just raring to go and it was like I need more of this I need more of this so now obviously I'm on my fifth show um, to be honest, I, I never thought, you know, I see it every day, so to me, it's just the you normal. Work, it's your work van it's and every work day. Of course, it yeah. gets me to and from and everything else, but, you know, the feedback I got, that was enough for me, you know, and the people that I've met, it's just, everything's just 100% positivity. And that's the thing with these shows, you go to these shows and everybody you talk to, everybody you meet, they're so friendly and everybody's got the same wavelength, everybody wants to be doing the same thing. And the amount of people that I've spoken to, I mean, one or two that have gone away from this and they've gone to put a few lights on their vehicle just because they've seen Dan's. And there was another one at the International Camp Van Show, which was parked next to Dan. And it, the amount of people, I, the thing with lights is, you know, I I go over, I went over the other side of that, that field there and all I could see was your van. <laughs> yeah. Nothing else. I've seen other vans lit up, but all I could see was Dan's van over that side. Um, he's also a part of the Vanta group. How did you get onto Vanta, and how did you become a part of their group? To be honest, I got I got invited to the group uh, probably about a year and a half ago through friends of mine, and to be honest with you, it's just been 
uphill from there. You know, I've, I've, I've met up with the lads and everything else. Yeah, the thing is, a lot of the time, when you get onto groups and stuff like this, you, you don't you don't really get the time to put faces to names and everything else, do you? So it's like, exactly. to have social gatherings like this and get up see the groups and stuff together, yeah. it's just fantastic. Well, this is the thing, Vance has almost got 4,000 members now, so, you know, getting together like this to actually, you know, this is the first time I've met a lot of these guys, so, you know, putting names to faces, it's good. And again, best modified van, and do you know what? I'd have given him this trophy for this as well. It is amazing. It's an absolute piece of work, and do you know, as far, like I said, as far as built not bought campers go, this is one of my top ones. I, along with, there was another one at uh, the last show that I went to, but you know, he's done, you've done an amazing job, Dan. And do you know what? He's one of the nicest guys on this earth. <laughs> he's, a, he's got a character and her, out of her, hell above earth. Do you know what I mean? He's, he's this guy, he's the nicest guy on earth, and he will talk to anybody. So if you see Dan anywhere around any one of these shows, go and say hi to him. He'll tell you all about his van. Because believe me, I haven't even touched on it. And I've done a few videos and a few bits, and I mean, you've only got to look inside. The amount of work that's gone into this is, is literally unbelievable. And I tried to give him one of my stickers and he said no. But he has said... <laughs> no, I'm quite a no. I lied. Bottom line, he said, does it come in reflective orange? There so I've go. got to go and get him a reflective orange sticker. I've got to do it. And it's a challenge I've been set and I'm going to do it, believe me. And the next time I see him, I'm going to hand him one of these stickers in a reflective orange. So anyway, that's all I've got time for now. And thanks to Dan. It's just, you know, it's been a pleasure talking to him. If you see him about, talk to him, say hi. He's the friendliest guy on earth. And that's it from me for now, and I will be back to you shortly. Like I said with these guys, it's one big brotherhood. They look after each other, they help each other out, they do all sorts together. Um, I consider myself lucky that I got invited to this and to be a part of the show with them. We've got a line-up of these, have we? Mm -hmm. I reckon. Mark Saunders, everyone. And uh, you are a winner. You're camping out tonight. How have you found it today? You've had a great day? Yeah, we're, the old weather's a bit hit and miss, but it's all been good so far. Well, the sun's shining and the weather's going to be sweet tonight, so uh, hopefully you'll have your dancing shoes on. We've got a comedy stage, we've got a big bar, we've got a band, we've got loads of stuff going on tonight. We'll be there. Um, tell, tell, us about, tell us about the club stand, tell us about yourselves. So the club stand is Vanta, Vanta's our van group. Um, Richard and I formed it three years ago. 
Um, been to the Festival of Wheels, this is our second trip here. Um, loving it, yeah, just enjoy everything that they do. Well put on event, um, well organised, well managed. Quality, absolutely brilliant. Um, and three years of, uh, you, set, you sort of set this up three years ago and you've been going from strength to strength. Um, what's next, what's, the, what's, what's next in the pipeline then lads? I think the next thing is to reach 4,000 members. We're not far off at the moment, so our goal is the big 4,000 members and then back next year here. Amazing. Well, it's great to have you here. You are award winners. A big congratulations to you both. Um, keep up the good work and we look forward to seeing you here next year. Just going to take a quick photo um, as award winners. So a big well done to you. We'll probably see you in the campsite later. Excellent. Uh, a big round of applause for all yeah, our trophy winners. And um, hopefully you can get up to 4,000 members for next year. And we'll Lovely. see you next year. We'll see you, we'll see you in the campsite. Motorfest. Happy days. So everybody, I'm here with the guys, the admin guys who set up Vanta. Now, it's like I said to you earlier in the video, it's very much, I call it a brotherhood of community. So these guys now can, now I've got them on their own. I've been trying to do this all weekend and believe me, they're busy lads. So you got Mark? Hi there. And you got Richard? Hello. Right, so the thing is, the question I've got for you two is, where did, band to start how come how did it come about okay so we were in a previous tvp group uh no names mentioned um there was very small fallout through the fallout uh we decided amongst ourselves that we would start our own group just want to add there was no animosity with the fallout it wasn't a bad argument or a distribute or anything like that it was just literally a misunderstanding um, so we decided we would form our own group once we got up to 20 and 30 members we thought actually it's going to be a bit of a slow process but as weeks months and then years went on we find ourselves at just over three and a half thousand members 
uh, with a target to 4,000 by Christmas. That's amazing. So, three and a half thousand members, and they went 4,000 by Christmas. Help these guys out, because believe me, I, I've spent the weekend here and I'm loving it, and you know, I can't wait till the next one they get together. Um, it's that busy, I haven't had a shave, look, look at me. So, <laughs> it's, trust me, I haven't had time to do anything. But, you know, getting the invite to come to this, you know, I was a, I was a little bit sceptical because I thought, I don't know anybody here apart from Rich. I'd only met Rich and John from the breakfast meeting the other weekend. But you know what, as I said earlier, you lot are the friendliest bunch of guys. And I know you, you lot, not all of you live near each other, but when you meet up, it's almost like... They've never been apart. That's it. Like they've seen each other yesterday. And, you know, I... That's what I love about the whole van, well, I call it the van life. Not just camper vans, it's, we're talking vans. I mean, from here, you've got people that escort vehicles, we've got tire changers, yeah. we've got everybody. I, and I think that's, that's because how we want it to be. Yeah. We want it to be all inclusive. That's the whole idea of van. We don't want any animosity in, any, like, you can't come because you've got a camper van, and all, none of that. Yeah. It's yeah. all, all vans welcome. As you say, it's Absolutely. All, yeah. 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 All, all vans welcome, so, Believe me when I say you've got the friendliest bunch of guys, so please, I'm going to leave a link in the description below to this group. Check it out, you know, get yourself on there, yep. because advice, you know, they talk to they'll have a laugh. And like I, I said earlier, I love the banner, banter, where banter meets the road. Well, that's you know, down to Richard, that was. And the thing is, name was Richard. but the thing is, you, you guys have been a good laugh all weekend. You know, you made my weekend and, you know, being here at the show and just to be a part of you winning best club stand van getting best modified van you know two trophies yeah. on your stand in one weekend you yeah. must be proud absolutely yeah. 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 And you know, it, it, like i say it's a community it's a brotherhood it's you know the families kids it's you know it's not just vans people bring their vans they're camping in tents yeah. so check it out i'm going to keep pushing this throughout my videos because i tell you something i'm proud to be a member with these guys and I'm looking forward to the next one, so. Absolutely, hats off to you. Well, no. Big, big shake you. hands all of us, I think. Yeah. Thank you. Happy to have And it's bye from me. Bye from Mark. Bye from me. Bye bye. From bye from Rich. And literally, that's all I've got time for now, so it's bye for now. Anyway, I would really, really hope you enjoyed today's video, and I hope you're all enjoying your weekend. Um, although this is probably not, this is not gonna go out on a weekend. But, um, I've thoroughly enjoyed myself. So, remote control cars here as well. Do you know, it's everything at this show, fairground. It's been a fun weekend. And do you know what? If you ever want a good weekend away, they hold festival wheels at Ipswich every year. Check it out um, for next year's dates. I don't know what they are just yet, um, but I can assure you I'll be here next year. Anyway, that's it for me waffling on now. I hope you're staying safe. I hope you're staying well. Most of all, staying happy. We've got a beautiful country. We've got a beautiful life. And it's bye for now.